we all know that the enemy creates a counterfeit of the truth of God. We all know that the enemy takes what is of God and he mimics it because what is of God is pure and holy and righteous. And the enemy takes what is of God because he can't create anything of his own. He can only take what is of God, pure and holy, and mimic it and turn it into a counterfeit of something that is evil, something that is uh, destructive and so on and so forth. So, for example, God creates fresh air and then the enemy takes that as he operates through people. He creates polluted air. God created man and wife uh, to have sexual intercourse due to, for love and to produce. Satan takes that, he mimics it, and now it's animal uh, sex, it's group sex, it's same sex, it's, uh, and it's, it's not due to love, it's due to gain, it's due to uh, friends with benefits, it's due to money, it's due to this, that, or the other. And so you can see that uh, he takes what is pure and holy of God, what is truth, and he takes it, he twists that truth, and he creates a counterfeit. I have, I've had uh, a few people ask me uh, that were in the New Age, and they say there are a lot of teachings in the New Age that actually are, are, are uh, 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 practices or, or statements taken from Scripture. And they said to me, well, why is that? And the reason why that is, is Satan will take what is true, what is holy, what is righteous, what is pure, and he will take that and he will twist that, and then he will create a, a, a counterfeit that is evil, that just doesn't lead to God, that is just not righteous, and that's to, just to confuse people, that's, first of all, he can't create anything of, of his own, he can just take it and twist it and mimic it and uh, use it to lead people astray, another thing is that he can also deceive many uh, Christians who know the word of God using this method because Satan is all about tricks and shames and sly and sneaky things. Uh, so, for example, if someone knows the word of God, maybe they don't know it so well or maybe they do know it so well. Uh, they know the word of God and they, they get into these uh, New Age teachings because you, you get a lot of Christians in New Age and say, yeah, but that's also in the Bible there you go it's a way to also deceive the elect it's a way to also deceive the believers and you say oh but that's in the bible so this teaching must be good no it's new age and all new age is demonic and apart from that is to confuse people even more so if somebody doesn't know uh, the bible uh, and they just they, they 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 come up against all these personal development teachings or new age teachings or self help teachings or whatever uh, uh, they're into and then they see something that was taken from scripture and then maybe a few years down the line they see that same thing is in scripture as well well now that they, they think that oh these two teachings are the same thing it's just the same thing you know there are multiple paths that lead to god and it's all a big fat deception there are not multiple paths no multiple paths that lead to god one way leads to god and that is through jesus christ there is no other way we need to stop believing and falling for the lies the tricks the the sheens of the enemy and it's it's in the world look at it it's in the world it's in the world. We have to be very, very uh, 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 cautious. We have to be very cautious. Anything, anything that um, the and and to be honest with you, uh, personal development and self help teachings and so on and so forth, they're just a, they're they're a deceptive path that will eventually get you into the new age. I will not put uh, personal development and self-help uh, uh, work in the category of a new age, but I will put it, I will put it, um, it's a teaching that will lead you. It's a teaching that leads to new age. Because the more you want to discover yourself and the more, more you want to help yourself and the more you want to, you know, peel off the onion layers, the more you want to start purging, which is what they teach in personal development and self-help, the more you, they, they go into uh, ignorantly lead you to um, new age teachings and new age is all demonic new age is pure uh, demonic just to, just just to get you thinking of some of the deceptions of the enemy you get a lot of uh, christians who are following new age teachings and they say yeah but this is a love teaching yeah but this is a, a, a peace teaching no it's not it's just disguised that way it's not a love teaching and it's not a peace teaching again it's satan taking what is purely and pure pure and holy of god and righteous taking it twisting that truth creating a counterfeit that's what you're dealing with now that's the, the practices that you're into if you really want love and peace you will go directly to the holy bible christians out there
who should know better. Uh, but that's just to say the deception of the enemy is just is is he's clever. He's clever. Uh, anything that's in this world that you think you want, that you think you need, I encourage you, don't go and pursue those things. Seek God. Seek first, the Bible tells us, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. What does it mean by all these things? Well, it doesn't mean that God's going to give you your jet and God's going to buy you an island and God's going to, I'm not speaking about all that. Um, um, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Your needs will be added to you. The things that are meant for you will be added for you. Just because you think you want something in your heart, in your mind, it doesn't mean that that thing is good for you. For the Bible tells us the heart is deceitful above all things. A lot of people are chasing these, these, uh, this fame, this status, this money, these possessions, these women, these men, these entertainments. They're chasing these things with their heart, thinking, yeah, but it's my desire. It's the desire of my heart. The Bible says, for the heart is deceitful above all things things your heart is this the, the heart is deceitful above all things unless god comes in and cleanses the heart and gives you a new mind and installs a new steadfast spirit in you and removes your heart of stone and gives you a heart of flesh you will continue to be deceived by the lies of this world the lies of the enemy when we say world we mean a uh, world system so don't look at anything in the world and think, oh, but I want that. Oh, but I want that. I, but I, oh, but I want that. I promise you, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. God will outdo anyone you think you want. God will outdo anything you think you want. Outdo. He will outdo. He will give to you what is meant for you, all in divine right timing. Just because you think you want that money, you want that status, you want that fame, you want that this, that, or the other, you want that woman, you want that man, it does. Because the heart is deceitful above all things, it does not mean those things are good for you. It does not mean those things are right for you. It does not mean those things are meant for you. For example, you've got a, and I use this example quite often, but I'm going to use it again because it's a good example. You, you, you get a lot of Hollywood people, famous people, and they wanted the fame and they got it. And they wanted the status and they got it. And they wanted the high positions and they got it. And they wanted all those possessions and they got it. And they wanted all that money and they got it. And they wanted all them women and they want it. And they got it. And they wanted all that those men and they got it. And then what happened? A lot of them ended up, of course, feeling unsatisfied because they're trying to fill in an empty void in the heart that can only be filled in by the one who created them. And that is God. Trying to fill this emptiness in the heart with worldly things is just another deception of the enemy. But it's so he comes in, he's so sneaky when he comes in. It's deception. You can't see his lies. And they, they had everything that they thought that they wanted, left unsatisfied. A lot of them got depressed. Some of them even committed suicide. You're constantly hearing famous people committing suicide, committing suicide, committing suicide. Why? They have the things that the whole world is chasing, that the whole world wishes they had. They have it. And it led to their destruction. Why? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. All these things, the right things will be added to you. What is meant for you will be added to you. The things God has for your life, your plan, your walk will be added to you. If something is meant for you, God will send it to you. It will come to find you. It will knock on your door. God will send you down the right path at the right time to say the right words to the right people, all in divine right timing, so that the plan he has for you knocks on your door. And that's the truth. That's the truth. But Satan comes to create this counterfeit, evil counterfeit. Chase these worldly things and have these possessions and have this money and have all the women you want, all the men you want. And then you have all these people, they have everything and then they get depressed and they commit suicide. 
Why? Because you're playing with a dangerous counterfeit. You're playing in the den of the devil. Do not be jealous of the things of this world. For if something is meant for you, when we say this world, we mean the world system. We don't necessarily mean the, 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 the person that's in the world, in case you want love. The money that's in the world, in case you want money. The, the car, the house that's in the world, in, in case you, 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 that's what you want. We're talking about the world system, the way the system of the world works, the way people are operating by default mode. It's like you've just turned the key a machine and everyone's walking like soldiers here, all in all the same time in the same everything, the same mind, the same heart, the same, the same deception. If that person is for you, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and these things will be added to you. But if that person is not for you, then why would you chase it? People People are chasing these relationships, these people, thinking, yeah, but that's the person I love, yeah, but that's the person I want. And then a few years later, it's all an abusive relationship, it's all a narcissistic relationship, bang, you've just lost 10 years of your life. Why? Because you didn't seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, so all these things can be added to you. God would have sent you the kingdom marriage, the kingdom relationship. Instead, you got deceived and you fell into the trap of the enemy and you went for the counterfeit. Yeah, but I want that money and I want to be famous and I want to be rich and I want that status. I'm going to, I'm going to work and I'm going to build my company and I'm going to create my empire and I'm going to do everything and I want the big fat American dream. If something is meant for you, God is going to give it to you. You don't have to chase it like a hamster on a running wheel. Because notice the people who are there. Apart from being depressed and not satisfied, committing suicide, a lot of famous people. Notice that their heart is always empty. Notice that their heart is always cold. I'm not speaking everyone, the majority. The heart is always cold. Why? They try to fill in this emptiness, this void in the heart that is designed. It was created, it's designed to be filled by God who created you through an intimate, passionate, deep relationship with God. We were designed, we were born to have a deep relationship with God. God created us human beings as his children so that we, so that he can commune with us, so that he can love us, we can love him, we can seek his heart, he can seek our heart. We were designed for, to have this bondage with God. The heart is designed that way. When something is designed, when you see a piece of device and it's designed to do something, it it has to do that something is designed to do. If you try to make it do something else that it's not designed to do, it ain't going to work because it's not designed to do that. We were designed, our hearts were designed, we were designed to have this bond with God. And if we're not having that bond with God and we try to, you know, create life and do it differently and the ways of this world, it's not going to work. And the more you try and the more it's not working. So they try to fill in this emptiness in the heart with all these worldly things, worldly things, worldly things, worldly things. Thinking that they're going to feel that satisfaction, but it will never be because the heart was never designed for that. The heart was never designed for that. The heart was designed to have a bond relationship with God the Father. And so don't look at anything, anything of this world and covet after it and envy it and feel jealous of it and want it. Nothing. Don't fall into that trap. You can have desires, but notice the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Hmm. Why does it say his righteousness? Seek God's righteousness first. Because when you seek God's righteousness, his righteousness will be in your heart. Which means now the desires of your heart will be righteous. God grants desires that are righteous. 
If you do not seek God's kingdom first and you do not seek his righteousness first, the, the desires of the heart will probably, okay, there will be, unrighteous. Why? Because the Bible tells us the heart is deceitful above all things. You can say, yeah, but I want that thing. It's not hurting anybody. The heart is deceitful above all things. Yeah, but I want that. It's, I'm not harming anybody. The heart is deceitful above all things. Maybe you're not intentionally going and harming anybody, but if you're desiring something that's actually going to bring you more harm than good or not as good as the plan God has for you, you are harming yourself. How, how do you say you're not harming anybody? Harming yourself is harming somebody. God doesn't want you harming yourself. And so we are to seek his righteousness first. So our hearts could be righteous. So that the desires of our hearts could be righteous. And when the desires of your heart start to be righteous, you will look at the ways of this world and you say, I want nothing to do with that. I don't want that relationship unless, unless God sends me it. I don't want that relationship. I want a relationship God sends me. I don't want that money from that source. I want money only from the source from the source of God. I don't want that job. I want the job God has for me. Don't look at anything in this world and say, I want, I want, I want, I want. No, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and the right things. And these things will be added to you. The right things will be added to you. If you want status, people, you know, look at Hollywood. They want, they, they were, they've they been chasing status for so many years. Look at the state of them. It's all about sex energy. It's all about no respect for themselves it's all about nudity it's all about just disgusting things you can want status if if you want let god give it to you if it's meant for you because if it's not meant for you and you go chasing it it will backfire it will work against you so if it's not meant for you then why would you want it that status peace some people chasing these peace teachings of the world turn to jesus christ jesus says my peace i give to you my peace i leave to you not as the world gives so jesus is telling us the peace of the world is a superficial peace it's not the peace in the middle of the storm and then you've got wisdom you know god gives us wisdom but did you know that the world also has a wisdom satan's counterfeit Seek God and his kingdom and his righteousness. The Bible says, if anyone, want, if anyone needs wisdom, ask. he should ask me and I will give it abundantly. God will give you wisdom abundantly. Look at Solomon. Look at all the wisdom Solomon had. You don't need to get it from the world. You can get it from God. Wealth. You don't need to get wealth from the world. You can get it from God if it's meant for you. For the path God has for you. If it's not meant for you, why would you want it? If something is not, not meant for you, it will probably work against you and backfire. If God's not giving it to you. But ask him. You don't need to chase wealth from this, from, from the, the worldly ways. Seek it from God. Ask and it will be given. Seek and you shall find. The knock on the door will always open. You receive not because you have asked not. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks finds and everyone who knocks, the door always opens. Seek it from God. Look at Joseph. His brothers sold him as a slave. He was in the poverty. He was in the mess and God made him a governor. One position below the king. Gave him authority over everything. Let God give you these things. Don't chase them from over here. They're a counterfeit. They will backfire. You will end up like those famous people. who have everything and still they're unhappy. Still they're not satisfied. Still because they're, cause, cause they're living the counterfeit. Remember, God creates things pure and holy. Satan creates that counterfeit. You don't want that counterfeit. Never look at anything of this world and covet it. Be jealous about it. Envy it. I wish I had that. I wish I had that person. I wish I, I was like that person. None of that. God, what do you want for me? If it's something that you don't want for me, I don't want it. 
But if it's something that you have for me, I happily accept it. Because God knows what is best for you. And so let's let go of those dangerous counterfeits. Dangerous counterfeits. Because everything God has, I promise you, there is a worldly counterfeit of it. Open your eyes. There is a counterfeit of Jesus. Did you know? And Jesus said many will come in my name. So he's telling you already there's going to be a counterfeit of Jesus there. Do you know that New Agers? They call upon the name of Jesus, but it's the New Age Jesus. It's the meditation Jesus. It's the awoke Jesus with the third eye on his forehead. It's the meditation Jesus and the, the demonic counterfeit, the satanic counterfeit. The New Age Jesus is a false teacher, a false Jesus. Jesus says, for many will come in my name. Everything that is of God, there is a counterfeit. There are counterfeits of false gods for crying out loud. False religions, false gods. There's a counterfeit of everything. Open your eyes. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 29, 13, God says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Seek God with all your heart. Stop playing games. Stop wasting your life. Stop with the lukewarm business. Get out of the ways of this world. Turn to Jesus. My book can be purchased below. Donation links can donations can be made below. Send us your prayers using the email below. God bless you and the peace of Jesus be with you.